What's up YouTube? How you guys doing? I hope you're all having an amazing day. This is Lucas back again with another video for you guys. We are seven days away from the Season 10 Miami Qualifier on American Ninja Warrior and this is the official behind the scenes video that I'm bringing you guys. Tonight is my last night of hard training. I'm taking you guys with me to ATP. A bunch of Miami athletes are gonna be at ATP tonight so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you guys in the next couple days exactly what it's looked like for me to be in the walk online. There are basically two ways to compete on American Ninja Warrior. You can either be selected and you definitely wanna be selected or you can wait in the walk online and I've had to wait in the walk online this year. The last three years, Alexio and I both have been selected to compete and unfortunately this year when Ninja Warrior came to our hometown they didn't pick us but that's okay because I was able to wait in the walk online and by the time the walk online is all said and done I'll have been in line for 28 days why 28 days I have stood in line and uh, the last night of the walk online you actually have to sleep on property so I'll be staying at Bayfront Park overnight waking up the next morning when production and casting arrives they get the list of walk-ons it becomes official at that point and then of course Friday seven days from today is American Ninja Warrior the qualifier in Miami I can't wait I'm so excited to take you guys along for the ride listen my goal for this video is to hit 200 likes all right so if you scroll down and you see I haven't hit 200 likes help a brother out all right go hit the like button hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for checking it out Let's do it. We are at ATP and we've got an obstacle that Kaye built as a replica because there's a rumor going around we're gonna get this obstacle in Miami. And we're a week away, so rumors are already circulating about what obstacles we might get. It looks a little bit like this. Come check it out. Here's the deal. We only had room for two. Picture five of these. All of them move like a propeller, so we did the best with what we could. I'm about to give it a try for the first time. Let's see if I was on the show trying it for the first time if I would have fallen. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Easy peasy. Don't release this video till after after the Miami film. Obviously, Jason, this is the behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the clear. <laughs> One side note, I'm not using any chalk. Normally, when I train, I use chalk. The reason I'm not using chalk is because you're not allowed to use chalk on the show. But the other caveat with that is, a lot of these obstacles are homemade. They're made out of wood. They're not as grippy as the obstacles on the show. On the show, everything is super easy to hold on to. It's painted with specialty paint to make it extra grippy. So. This stuff is not gonna be that good. Who's behind me? Kaye was. <laughs> Don't ever subscribe to his channel. Don't do it. So I'm not training with chalk. Keep that in mind. That's gonna that might affect me a little bit. I'm curious to see how I do, but that's important because on Friday for real showtime, I can't use chalk. So let's see how it goes. Go. Nice. Break. Last obstacles. <laughs> Stop, bro. 
Is it stuck? Definitely not happy with that run. I really got hung up on a nunchuck alley. That was not good. And then I was tired on the uh, that propeller dyno thing, so I'm gonna do the dyno thing again. When I got to the rumbling dice, it was stuck. I don't know if you could tell on camera, but those edges are wrapped in tape and they're always like wearing. It felt stuck to me, but not a great run for a week before Ninja Warrior. It's nice to have a really successful run to boost your confidence right before. That's not the successful run I was looking for, but I'm gonna do that. Propeller dyno four or five more times. Make sure I'm really comfortable with it. I should have done better. Let's go try the propeller dynos again. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? I'm with my boy, Kaye. What's up? Today is the last day of the walk online, basically because tomorrow, casting arrives. They get the list of competitors, and the walk online becomes official. That's tomorrow morning. The night before casting arrives, we've actually got to sleep on site in order to secure our spot. If we're not there overnight, if we're not there all night long in line, we lose our spot. So as ridiculous as that sounds, we're literally gonna be out there like homeless people sleeping in the park. I gotta compete on American Ninja Warrior, so I'm doing whatever it takes. By the way, our intel that told us we might have that weird propeller looking obstacle that I was practicing at ATP so much on Friday, that intel was wrong. And that's the last time I tell YouTube anything that I don't know for sure is true. I wasted time building it. Exactly. <laughs> this guy actually built it. Welcome to Bayfront Park Miami Walk Online 2018. How many times have you walked on, Nick? This will be four. Four time walk on, veteran. Nobody knows what he said. We're about 20 minutes early at 8 p.m. All the walk-ons have to be here to check in. And the course is right over there. There it is. Steps. So flywheels. Flywheels were one of the obstacles last year in LA. So there's an obstacle, we have no idea what that is yet. It's a new obstacle. We have not seen any testers try it yet. That's a new one. And then of course over here, we've got the warped wall and the brand new 18 foot mega wall. We gotta talk about that really quick. I have been training for the mega wall. About a month ago, I found out that the mega wall existed. This, of course, season 10 has been the debut of this new 18 foot mega wall. If you can get up that wall, you get $10,000 in the last 27 days will all be so worth it if I can get that $10,000. So I have every intention of getting up it. Unfortunately, we haven't seen the balance obstacle yet. Another obstacle we've got is the Rail Runner. The Rail Runner was a brand new obstacle last year. I can't remember what city it debuted in, but I'll put it on the screen for you. The Rail Runner last year looked pretty tough, and this Rail Runner is a little bit different than last year. They altered it. Of course, you got a flat angle up, straight across at the top, and then a flat angle down. The Rail Runner last year kind of had some curves up and down, up and down, and then a big transfer. So this Rail Runner, in my opinion, looks a little bit easier. We'll have to wait to see some testers trying it. But as of right now, I feel pretty good about doing that Rail Runner. I'll wait tell for you it. how to do number one. Steps, okay, bro. Time out. First <laughs> obstacle. Same as always, floating steps. Floating steps. Easy. If you can't do the floating steps, what is wrong Go with you? Go home, bro. <laughs> Why have you been in line for 27 <laughs> days if you can't do the steps? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're so inappropriate. I can't, I can't make a YouTube video with this guy around. I'm gonna get demonetized. My channel is PG. Oh shoot, let's re uh, rewind, rewind. Cut the whole thing. Cut the whole thing. <laughs> Competitor of the night, number one, John Brown, number two, number Oscar. three. That's my boy JP. He's cool. He's white, but he's cool. Greg Mander. Kai, he's all right. Don't subscribe to Kai's channel. 
That's Greg Schwartz. You don't you don't want to cross Greg Schwartz. He's, he's a little psycho. Whoa, 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 whoa. Number 11, baby. Number 11, baby. Let's get it. Oh, I'm standing next to a walk-on god. It's my fifth time. Fit time walking on, man. This guy's a walk-on oh. legend. What do you think of this course? Dude, I'm, I'm liking it. It's Brad actually, uh, if you're any kind of rock climber, group intense person, yeah. yeah. This, this is the course for you. Let's yeah. get it, baby. Let's get this money, yeah. son. So it's about 8.45 and this is it, guys. These are our sleeping arrangements. I'll let you check it out right behind me. Shout out to my wife who bought me this nifty orange blow up airbag that I love. We live in the life out here in Miami, baby. Pure luxury. Thanks, Jess. Yeah. You called me Jess? No, you're not Jess. I'm talking about I'm my wife. I'm taking my, oh. Give me my camera. I thought he was thanking me for recording. You're ruining my video. But Morning, everyone. We ended up moving right outside the park over here in front of the bay. You could not possibly ask for better weather sleeping outdoors. I slept on and off. I was up most of the night, which is not necessarily a bad thing at all. Just a reminder to everybody out there, this show is filmed overnight on Friday. I could run any time between midnight and 5 or 6 a.m. So I've been working on changing my sleep schedule, and tonight was actually really good for me to be up all night. So hopefully today during the day, I'll get a lot of good sleep. In the next couple hours, once the sun goes up, this line will be made official by NBC. Let's make sure all this is worth it. neck is definitely gonna hurt. Definitely. Dang. Kaye is out like a light. Don't subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's ugly. So Kaye is the only one who's still asleep and he's like dead asleep. So we're all gonna move all of our stuff back over to the park and uh, hopefully he'll still be asleep and wake up there extremely confused. Let's do it. Shh. Move quietly. Quietly. Sorry, bro. We're pretty much all here. And Kai is still over there. Shoot, we got Kai's camera. Don't worry, Kai. I wouldn't leave us over here without supervision. Still love you. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. The walk of shame. How do you feel? <laughs> with your with your little mini mattress, bro. That thing's so cute. I felt so good in it though. Quick update, everybody. It's official that our balance obstacle is the razor's edge. I, for one, am extremely happy about that. That that obstacle has always, to me, seemed like a pretty easy one. Everybody right now is studying footage and trying to get a good idea of exactly how to do the razor's edge, which is pretty awesome. NBC representation has arrived. Peter's here, it's like the second coming of Christ, everybody's running to him. I've said it a million times, you guys, to me, are what the show's about. Miami A&W walk online. We decided as walk-ons, whoever goes the furthest out of all of us gets to take that painting home, and I want that thing. It's Friday, competition day is here. Woo! Just Which walk-on thing they're about to hit a buzzer? Walk-on baby, number 11. It's official now. <laughs> about to go over rules and regulations with all the competitors. Woo! What's up? Look at everybody. Let's get it. Rules and regulations are done, and now it's the waiting game. We're literally gonna sit here, the sun is going down. Once it turns dark, competitors start. Let me show you guys something amazing. After 10 years of Ninja Warrior, it's season 10, they finally are giving us a monitor. We have literally had to run around to try and see people run, and now we've got a monitor, and I got a front row seat. I literally saw the monitor, they told us it was here, I set up my bed right in front. What do you think, Joe? I think these coconut strips are awesome. <laughs> Besides that, this, this is a long time coming. Oh, who's behind me? That's crazy Kramer, baby! My crotch. <laughs> Hang in there. I was trying to talk to your crotch. Why are you talking to you? <laughs> oh it's about 3.30 in the morning. 
and we are behind schedule, which is not good. They ran five walk-ons at the top of the night. They ran five walk-ons after their lunch break, which was at midnight, which means 10 walk-ons have run, and I'm number 11, so I would be the next walk-on to run. They normally run the remainder of the walk-ons at the very end of the night, around 5.30 in the morning when all the competitors are done, but again, we're behind schedule and they may not get to all their actual called competitors, which means they definitely won't get to the walk-ons. Anyone who gets a call is guaranteed to run, but of course, as a walk-on, I have no guarantee, so um, I haven't lost all hope. I think there's definitely still a chance I'll run, but I've accepted the fact that it's possible that I will not run. I uh, got my family here right behind me, all sleeping on the floor. I would definitely be upset if I didn't get the chance to run, but we'll see what happens. To give you some good news though, Kaye hit a buzzer. He was number seven in the walk online. He got to run a couple hours ago, and Kaye got his first buzzer in his Ninja Warrior career. Hopefully they air his run on TV and you guys get to see it. I'll keep you guys updated. There are nine competitors left, and I'm the next walk on. They have about 45 minutes to run nine competitors before the sun goes up and they stop filming. So I gotta hope these next guys go fast. I'm gonna go warm up and let the chips fall where they may. Family's praying. Last night and this morning, I guess a couple hours ago, was the Miami qualifier and I did not run. 10 walk-ons ran and I was number 11. I'm really tired. Came home, got like three hours of sleep and woke up. I'm sure you guys can imagine that I'm upset. I don't have to explain to you guys why I'm upset. I spent 27 days in line and didn't get the chance to run. And I knew going into this that that was a risk that I was taking, but I thought number 11 would be good enough. 27 days is a long time to stand in line to miss your chance. I think the only way to know for sure you're gonna run as a walk-on is to be one of the first five. As the night was winding down, they had about five competitors left and I really felt like it was my time. And it started to rain. They covered the course, the rain wouldn't stop. There was three competitors left who had received a call and those three competitors were told they're gonna run in a different city. They weren't even able to run in Miami. So even, even a few callbacks didn't get the chance to run, but of course they have the opportunity to go run somewhere else. I don't have that choice. I could, I could go try and walk on somewhere else, but of course I'm not gonna do that. I don't have time or money for that. Listen, sometimes this kind of thing happens. There's really nothing I can do about it, man. I'm really upset. I got to watch a bunch of competitors run and I felt really good about it, man. I feel like I really would have done great and I was gonna attempt the mega wall. I wanna say congrats to the only two walk-ons who hit a buzzer, Nick Patel, congrats. Kaye Alexander, congrats, I love you guys both. I will be back today in a couple hours to test for the finals because at least let me get let me get something out of this experience, you know what I mean? I wanna be able to touch the, the obstacles a little bit, so I'm gonna go test later today and I will definitely be posting a video of that. Look out for that, the link may be in the, in the description of this video, so go down there and check that out. Some things are outside of your control and life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react, so I'm gonna be back next year, man. I'll apply again next year and I'll get the call. I will not stop training. You guys know how much I love this, so thank you guys for watching. Peace out.